Coach, if you would like to start with an opening statement. Well, it sure didn't be fun to come in here and talk about a disappointing loss. Um, you know, credit to San Jose, they did a good job and they scored up about every time they had it. They uh, made a punt once and uh, had the fourth down there at the very end of the game. I think there were many drives we didn't stop them. And uh, then offensively, fumbled the ball there in the first half really was a uh, it was a killer. They, they just got up 10 to 7. And uh, we, uh, we threw the pass out there in the flat and they just took it away from us. And we went down and scored another touchdown. Uh, we answered with a long drive, but only got a field goal out of it. And uh, it would have been nice to have gotten the touchdown. We kicked off. We had a long kick return. Very poor job of covering the kick. And then we get a 15 yard penalty tacked onto it and they get three more before halftime. And uh, still added the two scores and did a nice job in the second half of, of coming out and, and getting a, a drive the very first possession and scoring and making it a one possession game. And, uh, and then again, we couldn't stop and then went back down and scored. And, and uh, it was, you know, it just seemed like we were, we were playing catch up the whole day. And uh, uh, I take that back. I guess we did make a component there that. That was in the second half, the third, third quarter of the second half. And then we had to fight ourselves. So uh, made it a one score game and then, and then couldn't uh, couldn't capitalize the next uh, the next go around. So anyway, uh, we're very disappointed that we lost. And uh, I'm clear that there's a lot of things we gotta do better. And I gotta do better and everybody in the organization's gotta do better. So we're just trying to do that. This is uh, coming up. An awfully big game. We, uh, it's a season within a season when you play for these CIC games. So uh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to make some fast improvements here in the next few days to get ready to go out to to, uh, to the West. Matt, go ahead. Coach, you were talking a little bit about you know the difference between the first half and the second half of play. Was there anything in particular that you were addressing at halftime to get them back with like one or two things, or was it just a little bit of everything after that first half? I mean, we didn't stop on one drive, Matt. You know, we, we kind of get them off the field. We didn't get them off the field. Every time they had it, they were coming away with points. It's not a very good formula for winning a football game. Uh, offensively. We, we didn't capitalize. We, we had the fumble, uh, which set them up for another scoring opportunity, which is disappointing. Um, the ensuing drive, we took all the way down the field and then had to settle for a field goal. So we weren't, we weren't maximizing our opportunities. We, we got it, we needed to score. That's the way the game was going. They were scoring every time, we were going to need to score every time. And uh, we just talked about the things we needed to do from a uh, assignment fundamental standpoint to try and help our guys uh, you know a few things situationally that you know, we're going to do this or try this on this particular uh, or in this particular situation and uh, then talk to them about those things like we do every every halftime and uh, and try to get them prepared to play a, a better second half so that was that was really the conversation how did you feel your offense was adjusting when it came to, you know, obviously having to switch out the quarterback several times? You know, early on in the game, you were going back and forth between balls, and then with those injuries, you had to eventually go with Anderson. How do you feel like the offense adjusted? I mean, I don't know if there was an adjustment we needed to make. Uh, we didn't stop running the offense, and everybody that we've got in our program is a quarterback. They're, they're going to run our offense, so he, he hasn't had as many reps in practice and, and certainly not in the game uh, like those other guys have, but he's the number three guy, so he's not going to have as many. Neither is the third string right tackle or the third string middle linebacker. It's, uh, but I thought he, you know, he did a good job and went in there trying to make some plays and we, you know, we needed to help him more. The other 10 guys and all of us. Uh, you mentioned uh, closing out the first half where uh, you closed the gap 20 to 10 on Cowley's field goal, but on the ensuing kickoff, uh, they returned, made a nice return penalty on top of that. 
and then it went down to hit three points or kick three points. Was that somewhat of a deflator going into the locker room? Uh, yeah, I mean, that, anytime you, you score like that, you feel like you're, you know, you're, you're, you're fighting back a little bit and, and uh, taking back some of that lead they had. No, it was, it was, you know, it was disappointing for those guys to get those three points, but it was a two score game at 10 points. It was still a two score game at 13 points. It wasn't, had we given up a touchdown, it would have been a heck of a lot more critical, I think, but um, it's still a two score game. And we answered after the half and scored. We were down by six and then got the ball. And that's when they punted, we stopped them. We go down and score, we get seven points, and we're up by one. And and I think the heat starts to be on them. But we just, we never got there. We, we, we ended up having to punt ourselves um, and, and after they did. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's, it's, it's disappointing that that happened. But uh, and it's not, you know, it's not acceptable. We gotta do a better job covering kick and, uh, and certainly not be undisciplined and they got out of bounds, which we did. So. And, and just looking at the uh, end of game stats, uh, with the exception of the four fumbles, uh, offensively, this looks like an Army team that will come out with the win. Uh, what, do you, what do you think the, the difference was uh, today? We weren't scoring. We didn't finish drives and score. Uh, when you turn the ball over and the other team doesn't, your chances of winning go way down with just one turn. And so we needed to we needed to not turn the ball over there on that drive and keep it keep it going down there and score and uh, and try to create a turnover where we get it away from them. Um, they made some they made some phenomenal plays. A touchdown down there where we had the pass interference and the kid caught it on his knees. That was a great play. But uh, they also had a tight end run wide open. We didn't cover right down the middle of the field. So it's fundamental things that the, the, the assignments and some of those things just don't that's what's that's what's disappointing thank you uh, coach after the georgia state game you uh, said that you thought your team had improved a bit uh, after the last two weeks do you feel like this week your team took a step back or do you, did you see some improvement there so and by the way the, the game came out yeah, that's a, it's in time you lose a step backwards. Um, I don't know that the last week losing to Georgia State was a step forward. I just thought we played better, played more like ourselves. Um, I, I mean, I'm, I'm at a loss to tell you. Just to, to, to evaluate overall where I think our team is. We had some really good drives, long drives on offense and scored. And we had some foolish some mistakes that we could control that, uh, that cost us. <clears throat> we had to cost the turnover. And uh, no, we just, we weren't, we weren't running the full back in there as well as I hoped we would. And uh, I would like to have done that better. Uh, defensively, we couldn't get them off the field. And I don't know that it's a lack of playing hard or effort, but some of it was just, some of it was assignment, poor communication, um, a couple crossing routes where we should have had a guy on him, and either by communication or, or a guy just you know, not following his assignment as well as he should. And, and let me tell you, it's not easy. Because you go in there with a call, they can line up any way they want, and it's an open playbook. And you got to run fit, and you got to pass responsibility. And if one receiver goes out, the other one comes in, it changes the guy that you got to pick up. It's not just, hey, stand here in this spot, and they're going to run to you, and you can intercept it. No, it's not that easy. But we still have got to do our job, and uh, and we didn't do that as well as we needed to. So I, I did feel like a week ago, we, we played better, um, and I thought we practiced really well this week. So, no, I can't tell you. I, 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 
wish I had the answers, but I don't right now. Yes. And Coach, during the week we talked about their quarterback, uh, Josh Love, had a big day today about whether it was getting a pass rush or, or playing back on defense, five defensive backs at times. What, what was the real challenge? He certainly had a quick release getting rid of the ball. He got rid of it quick, and we watched that on film. We, we knew that, uh, that he was good at doing that. And uh, we didn't sack him one time. We, we, we got rid of the ball, and you know, unfortunately, he's getting rid of the ball, and we got guys open, and two open. So um, he's a good player. He's the best thrower that we faced this year. And two quarterbacks uh, uh, got hurt in the game. Kelvin, after playing well in the first half, and Jabari. Uh, how, do, how do you feel about them? Also, Peyton Reeder was down. I know went back in the game. Well, we'll assess that as they get through the training room this afternoon. And, and our, our trainers will get a chance to look at it and just see what their, what their health is. So obviously, uh, all three of those guys, are, you know, two of them are starters. And, Jabari, we've been really pleased with the way he's practiced and wanted to get him involved. And uh, so we like to have those guys healthy, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, Coach, uh, watching their kicker, uh, Imperial, I uh, just kept thinking of Paul Brown and his emphasis on the kicking game. Imperial came in here with six straight uh, kicks and uh, was getting uh, Mountain West Conference honors first performance against New Mexico. How do you, how do you contain, how do you diffuse uh, whatever that guy does so your team is unaffected by his performance? Try not to let him get in position to kick field goals, I think, would probably the very, be the very best way to do that. Um, he's a good kicker and made all of his kicks today against us and you know, they were all they were all pretty, uh, pretty makeable kicks. We didn't make him kick it from 50 yards or anything like that. So they do a good job protecting, and and, uh, and we got a good kicker. It's, you know, it was a pretty high percentage kicks he had. So we got to keep him, keep him from getting down to that end. It's the best thing we can do. Coach, um, it's always said that injuries are part of the game, and you guys have had your share of them. At some point, do you just Look around and just shake your head and going, what's going on with that? I mean, we can cancel the season, but other than that, we've got to get some other guys ready and play them. And uh, you know, Charles, it's you know, injuries aren't they're not desirable for anybody. I'm I'm disappointed that uh, you know we got some guys hurt that we normally count on, but uh, it, it, we have no control. We could not practice and just say, I mean, we had two guys starting the game against Georgia State that did not practice all week. They played against Western Kentucky, did not practice all week, and then started in the game against Georgia State. And because we think they give us the best chance to win, and it's not a very good formula, but at least they were able to play in the game. And, uh, well, it's a, it, it's a challenge. It's a challenge when you don't when you don't have guys practicing that you feel like are the best players and they give you the best chance to win. So you try to nurse them back to health through the through the, the, the week. And some of those guys have been practicing on Thursday and Thursday only, and then playing in the game. And that's it's a it's a terrible formula. But uh, you know, our, our other guys, the guys that have taken their place, have worked really really hard, and they're out there trying and doing the best they can, and, and they made a lot of plays. And uh, so they didn't have to, they did in the game. So we just got to continue to get our, our, our players, our team ready, so that no matter what happens, the next guy in can, can step up and, and do the job. A couple more, Ben. Coach, just going to ask about next week, you go out to Air Force, a big rivalry game. You, you shut them out the last time you were out there, but it's two, that's two years ago. They just went out and won in Hawaii, which I thought was a good win. How do you get the team prepared, get the leadership of the team uh, in the right position to play your best? Well, that's that's my job, is to try to get those guys to, to be ready and be ready to play their best. And uh, you know, these academy games are, are uh, very high-intensity games. Um, our guys are, our 
guys are feeling pretty crappy right now after losing today, losing four in a row. We haven't done that since 2015. And uh, really, besides three of our our fifth year senior guys that, uh, that are with us still from that, that team, they're the only three guys on the team that experience anything like this. And I can assure you they're not having any fun and uh, they don't have the, you know, the answers on, here's how you fix it. You fix it by, by doing your job and doing it really well. That's, that's how you do it with 11 guys doing it at the same time. It's, it's not complicated, it's just hard to do. And uh, so we gotta get our guys to do it. It's my job to, to have the team ready and prepared and, and, uh, and we're gonna keep searching, keep working, that's for sure. Last one, Justin. And Coach, I know going into that two-one game, I probably never suspected you'd be at this point uh, after those four games. What's been the hardest part for you uh, just through this four-game stretch? For me personally, yeah. I, hard to see those players who've invested so much and put all the work in, not being able to celebrate success. And be able to win, and uh, you know that's that's why that's why we as coaches do what we do, We're trying to help these guys have a great experience and uh, to help them win and to serve our team. And, and so you know, when when I like them have invested a lot of time in, in trying to help and prepare them, uh, I want to see them. I want to see them celebrate and win. So. You know, they, get, they get one experience playing college football. They love for it to be a, you know, a great winning experience. And uh, so it's disappointing for me to, to see that. And you know, it's hard. But we're all competitors. And uh, I don't like to lose either. So you know, we don't feel like crap. All right. Thank you, everyone.